it's a red to do it. How are you? <laughs> yes. How are you, everybody? And this is a review of uh, the uh, highly anticipated Nintendo movie of uh, 2023. The Super Mario Bros. movie was a hell of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the uh, the atmosphere of the cartoon style visual graphics, of similar to like the old Nintendo games meshed into one movie. It was a massive celebration of Nintendo, basically. And uh, obviously, I won't say anything for spoilers. You're gonna have to go watch the movie yourself. I will say a couple of points from pros and cons, so that way you get a list of good stuff and a list of bad stuff at the same time. So the good stuff first, Chris Pratt was great as Mario. I know a lot of people don't like him, but um, from my point of view, he was actually fine. He, he did a really good job. Uh, he was good. Um, the, the one outstanding actor for me I really like now is Charlie Day. Um, he's awesome. As Luigi, and he was a he acted like a coward as well, which was good because he was like that in Luigi's Mansion, so which was great. And uh, oh, he every time he talks, he, I was so happy. Uh, Jack Black as Bowser, though, oh my god, though, he was he stole the whole show for me. He was just so brilliant. He he did a lot of singing numbers. He did a lot of a uh, villainous stuff that you obviously known to him from the video games. Uh, so, and then um, the great thing about the movie that I really enjoyed the most is the nostalgia factor. You know, there's this celebrated all through Nintendo history in one movie. I th yeah, which was really cool, but you have to find the Easter eggs yourself. There are insane amounts throughout the movie, and I saw quite a few. And then I missed a couple of few, so that's why I went to Game Trainers and went, ah. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, the end credits, man. They really made me happy, and uh, yes, I, I stopped all the way to the end, um, so that was really good. Uh, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, though, wow, I mean, that guy can act, seriously. He was he was really good, really funny, and uh, very brutish, and the, the way he's meant to be, I, I, I didn't like the fact, you know, in the old cartoon version, he was a, kind of like a boy version, and uh, but this one, he's more of a, a brooding force of a man type of a... Kong, do you know what I mean? It's more, uh, it's more fun and very comedic, and he was super powerful, and that's why I like Donkey Kong. He's my favorite character. Uh, so yeah, he was great, and he did his signature laugh. So uh, I was well happy with that. I was nerd overload that that bit though. Oh my god, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, it was quite good and evenly paced. I was not bored, uh, which was quite a good thing because uh, I'm not a big fan of long movies trying to do these things of like you know. You know, a whimsical plot, you know, and then you gotta go, and you get a bit snorry sometimes, but uh, yeah, it was evenly paced, so I was pretty happy with the movie pacing, no issues there. Uh, <clears throat> so I was laughing a lot um, in this movie as well, which was really good, because you, what you want is a good comedic, comedic, sorry, c comedic movie, you know, really funny stuff, great. Uh, Fourth of World jokes, great uh, jokes from the Nintendo franchise that you probably miss a couple of times. You probably have to watch this movie a couple of times to, to get the jokes, but uh, man. Okay, the next bit, I was smiling all the way through, and which was great. And um, this is what you want from a movie. I, as soon as it started with the, uh, the Nintendo screen, I was happy as hell because it played my favorite tune of all time. And I'm not gonna say what it is. You have to find out for yourself. Uh, so, <clears throat> This movie was definitely better than the 93 version. And I'm very happy to say they paid a tribute to the 93 movie in this movie, which I won't say where, you have to find out for yourself. In a way, this next point is really, uh, really on point. Is It's basically like a nice family friendly movie. Uh, you could take your kids to see it and it's not that scary. There are quite a lot of um, scary moments, but uh, it's not that it's that seriously violent, though it's more like cartoon violence. Bugs Bunny, you know, it's very similar to that slapstick kind of, you know, violence. It's not serious, which is good, but obviously not like that form. But you know what I mean? It's toned, it's toned down a lot, so don't worry. It's not that violent, but um, yeah, I mean, that's why it's a PG movie, which makes sense because it's, it's a bit scary in certain bits, but uh, yeah. That's the nature of these movies, I suppose. Uh, so yes, take your kids, and also adults will get a, a huge kick out of it. I mean, to be honest, I grew up with Nintendo back in the 80s and 90s, so uh, 
I loved every, I loved all the, all of it, you know, and uh, the kids will love it, the adults will love it too, and uh, they'll probably take them to the next Zelda movie, which we're hoping that will bring Nintendo, please. Uh, <clears throat> so, this movie, I think, will dethrone Disney now. Uh, with lots of positive reasons, because Disney is going downhill now with this woke crap, and I'm not supporting it anymore. And uh, Nintendo, I really think you can take overtake Disney now. It's your turn now to be the next king of animation, and as well with video game great video game company. At the same time, I fully trust them now. Okay, so uh, yes, and uh, I think they will do a massive Nintendo verse which is a really po exciting prospect. You know, I will say a bit in the end what they should do next, but oh my God, there's so much potential out there. All right then, uh, so basically, love the remix of the Mario theme. It was just great to hear Ko Koji Kondo's music throughout the movie. It gave me tears of joy, uh, of course, which is uh, understandable, and uh, I loved it. I couldn't, I just, uh, I couldn't escape it out of my head, you know, especially with, like, certain bits of the games, if you remember from the NES, Super Nintendo, N64, you name it, it was just in there, like a massive blender, <laughs> a, a happy blend, if you will. Uh, this movie was great fun, and had a lot of great action scenes, which I thought was really good fun, uh, we'll see, we'll see what the action scenes are, you have to go and watch the movie yourself, I'm trying to restrict, uh, on spoiling the movie for you, because I don't want to, uh, uh, uh you know, you know, off guard you, if you know, if you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, okay, uh, what I would like to see Nintendo do, um, for the next, uh, <laughs> Nintendoverse, or MCU, if you will, I would like to see Pete Jackson to make, uh, a next Link movie, please, or if they make it anime, to go for it. And I would love to see either Nigel uh, Nigel Wood to be Link or um, Andrew Garfield would make uh, really good sense. Who would play the villain, though? Who would you like to play the villain? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, and also, I would love to see a Star Fox movie. Definitely, that would be exciting, like Star Wars and cartoons combined. Yes, please, go for it. You could dethrone Disney with that. Uh, and you can also do, oh my god, what else? There's so much potential. Punch-Out movie, I would love to see. Could you imagine that? Like Apollo Creed or, you know, like Rocky movie style. Like a live action, maybe a Punch-Out. That'd be really cool. Or Zelda in live action. Or CGI, that's fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, F-Zero will be my big dream to see that on the big screen because that will really introduce uh, a lot of fans to the new fan to the old franchise and hopefully Nintendo will make their F-Zero games again, please. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there's so much potential, this uh, Nintendo IPs with more characters and more movies. Uh, yeah, so go for it, Nintendo. Right, after this, I'm going to go on to my cons. All right then, guys, here is the cons. I know not a lot of people like the cons, but it's got to be talked about. Um, one, the movie was too short. I felt, you know, they could have stretched more, like to say... An hour of 44 minutes or even an hour of 50 minutes would have made more sense. Then you could talk more about the uh, a better story. Uh, the story was a little bit scrunched, if you know what I mean. It was, it was very, like, constrained. It didn't, like, let it flow a bit or took time to re to relax in certain bits because it was moved very too fast. It felt like... Um, have you ever seen those Warner Brother cartoons, you know, um, that you buy on iTunes and stuff? They're very short. They're, like, an hour and, hour and a half. It's very similar to this. They they, they uh, basically moved the plot too fast, I thought, which was a little bit of a, a niggle. But uh, I suppose with the second sequel, I hope they can make it longer, please, Nintendo, or and Illumination, if you're watching this. Um, so the second one, there's a lot of good music bits in certain in certain scenes, but the, some the one one of the scenes though really was a bit stupid and really mis out of place for a. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say where it is, but um, they used uh, one of the old uh, 80s uh, music tracks that I can't stand. But uh, I wish they put the um, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor would make more sense for that scene. You know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it just, I just went, what? At that moment? Um, it didn't work for me for some weird reason. Um, right, the third one was basically the music at the beginning was overpowering uh, at the beginning of the movie. Um, I couldn't hear Bowser talk because it was like blaring music, like free. I don't know who did the editing. I could have done a better job. 
I would have told them to like turn it down to at least 50% music, but somewhere is it, it felt like it was turned up to like 85, 95%. It's like, I couldn't hear him, like speak his famous line from the trailer, which was really strange. Um, that's one of the biggest pet peeves I, I've seen today. Uh, and uh, lastly, the plot was pretty generic. You've seen these in so many 80s movies and 90s movies. It was getting a little bit old and I've seen it all before. It's just not very original, um, but you know, I mean, I suppose it's good that Nintendo did it uh, in a way to experiment, um, even though the director is not actually experienced in making, this is his first time making this movie, which is fair enough for him because he's got a lot of responsibility to bring uh, forth the Nintendo franchise forward to the screen and celebrate uh, with all this stuff on top. It must've been a massive headache for them uh, and sometimes, uh, the last thing I will say, the Easter eggs were a little bit uh, crazy because, you, you know, it's like, oh, 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 I've seen so many. I mean, it can overwhelm you sometimes. I mean, which is a little bit of a, a bad thing, but I said of the pros, it was a good thing as well. And uh, yeah, and that's basically my cons for this uh, movie. But uh, my final thoughts at the end of the day is, I would basically say uh, go support this movie and hopefully if it makes over like say one billion dollars I reckon it'll reach over probably maybe one and a half or maybe two billion that'd be really cool and then we can see more movie franchises going forward from the Nintendo's Nintendo's greatest IPs collection so go for it Nintendo I fully support you 110% now and Disney uh, you are forever bye bye in my opinion but um, now the throne and the crown goes to Nintendo well done. I really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to go watch it again just to try and find those Easter eggs again. So thanks for watching this review. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. That'd be great. And uh, as RetroDo says, retro forever. And thanks for watching, guys. And uh, hopefully when Nintendo releases more movies, I will do more reviews of Nintendo movies. How's that? And can you tell me in the comments, guys, obviously spoiler free or what you liked about the movie as well. Obviously, don't spoil the details. That'd be really cool. Thank you very much. All right, then. Take care, guys.